There's a really neat sustainability story to tell. Um, the building has some really unique features um, that make it one of the most sustainable buildings in the country and maybe even the world. The building um, is certified LEED Platinum, Core and Shell. Uh, at the time of certification, it was the third building in the world to achieve that certification. And I think there are a few interesting components that helped us really get over the edge and get there. We've got um, a really sustainable design. There are some things operationally that help us get there. For example, we have a 50,000 gallon um, tank in the basement of the building that collects rainwater from the roof. And then we use that water to pump back up to the commodes um, for use in the restrooms. And uh, we also irrigate all of our plantings on, on the property with that uh, reharvested rainwater. So what it happens is we process that water, fil filter it through, we use UV lighting filtration to actually clean the water and store it in a, a search tank. One of the tenants, they were wanting to uh, install a uh, live wall, which is pretty much a wall that has nothing but plants all along the wall there. So they were having uh, questions as to how to irrigate the system. We explained to them that we could actually tie that system into a non-potable water, which rainwater which we capture and then we could use that water to actually irrigate the live wall. We've got some mechanical units that help to pre-cool the outside air as it comes into the building. One specific unit it would be the ERU which is the energy recovering unit which uh, you have your outside air which are uh, exhaust air. They're one unit but the air doesn't mix so what we do is we recover the cool air leaving from your exhaust and turn it back to your uh, outside air so you have any pre-cooled before it enters your coil and cool it even further. So you don't have to make your units work as hard to cool it down before entering the building. We've got regenerative capabilities in our elevators and escalators, um, you know, underfloor heating in the lobby to help make the HVAC system more efficient. So there's a lot of um, unique aspects uh, to the physical asset.